Wiki. Collaboration. If you've ever gone to Wikipedia to look something up, you might have noticed that you can actually edit the page. You can add information to it because it is a wiki which is collaboratively created and edited. Moodle has a wiki too, which you could set up for your learners, for instance, to do a group project, doing some research, or to write a combined essay. To add a wiki, we go to our course page and enable edit mode top right, and then in the section where we want our wiki, we click add an activity or resource. This brings up the activity chooser. Wiki is an activity because learners interact with it. Click once to go straight to the setup screen, or click the information icon for more details and then the add button bottom right. The name is important because it's what the students will see on the page to access it. And then you can give a description of what you want them to do in the wiki and you can tick the box display description on course page. Normally a wiki would be group work, collaborative, but you can, by changing the drop-down menu here, have an individual wiki and then each student could have their own copy, for instance as a personal notebook. We are going to keep it as collaborative, however, and the next thing to do is choose the first page name and this must be carefully thought out because it cannot then be altered. There are other settings worth exploring, for example, activity completion, if we want to track that students have accessed the wiki, do we want them to manually click to confirm they've seen it, or do we want it automatically marked complete when they've simply viewed it? To alert course participants that a wiki has been added or updated, click Send Content Change Notification. After clicking Save and Display, we start the wiki by pressing a button to create the page. If you don't understand any of the other formats, just leave it as default, it's fine. And now we have our first page of the wiki. To set up links to make the other pages, you put double square brackets around the name you want to give the page. So here are a couple of examples. And this is how your learners would also make new pages on the wiki. When we scroll down and save, we see that we have links, but these aren't yet pages until we actually click onto them and create those pages in the same way that we made the first page. So if we click on the reading link, we're then prompted to create the page and we can start adding information to it. This is how your students would then add text and information to a new page. Let's scroll down, save that page and take a look at some of the other links in a wiki. From the drop-down. If enabled, comments allows you to see and add comments to the wiki. History is a useful way of the other learners and the teacher seeing who has changed what on the wiki. And in case of any problems, that's a handy page to go and revert changes. Map takes us to pages which have been created and we can access them from there.